Hi, I'm Ben from Imberium, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about our Divi page builder integration. Now, Imberium integrates with the four popular page builders, that is Elementor, Divi, what we're going to be focusing on today, the Gutenberg block editor, and lastly, we integrate with Beaver Builder. Now, you can find videos and documentation on our website for all four of these. Before we dive into the integration, let's answer the question, is this integration for me? There's two types of people who are going to benefit from our integration with Divi. One, you're just using the default WordPress editor. You don't have a page builder, and you've decided that you want to use Divi as your page builder. In that case, go ahead and do that, and now you can use our integration to use Membarium to protect your content inside of Divi. Now, the second type of people who will benefit is people who are already using Divi. If you're already using Divi, keep using it and then start using the integration to protect your content with Membarium. Now, let me dive in and show you exactly how the integration works. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to use this integration is just go ahead and hop over into WordPress. I've already edited uh, a page here. So I've created this page. It just has a special button uh, that needs to be protected. And I just can come up here and hit Enable Visual Builder. I'm now working inside of the Divi Builder right here on the front end. As you can see up here, I have the sections. These are sections. If I come down a little bit, I have my row right here. And I also have the module that's inside that row. So what we want to do here is uh, just protect this button. So I'll just show you how to do that. If we actually come here to Module Settings, then we come here to the Advanced tab. Let me make this window a little bit larger for us. And then you can see the Membarium is right here. It's the fifth option down. Once we click that, we can see all the options that we have. So for example, we have any membership level, your membership level, any logged in user, logged out only, uh, contact IDs, tag protections, and PHP Boolean expressions. So I'm now going to quickly go through how all these options work for you. If you're familiar with the content protection box, these work the exact same way. So first things first is you have your membership levels. On this site here, uh, I only have one membership level. You can tell by going to Membarium, Memberships, and you can see the only membership level I have is your membership level. That corresponds to tag 819 over an active campaign. So if I go ahead and turn this on, that means the user that needs to uh, be able to see that button, it would require that they have the membership or it would require that they have tag 819 over inside of active campaign. If I do any membership level, that's just going to activate all my membership levels. I only have one, but if you had multiple, this would mean the user just needs to have one single membership level. Next up, we have any logged in user and logged out only. Uh, these work pretty uh, self-explanatory. If you have this on, the user just needs to be logged in. And if you have the other one on, this just means the user needs to be logged out to see that particular uh, content that you've protected. Next up is the require contact IDs. This comes straight from Active Campaign. If we head over to Active Campaign, I've pulled up a contact record. You can do that by just coming over here to Contacts and then choosing a record that you want. And if you look up in the URL, you'll see 174 here. This is my contact record for 10jan at gmail.com. That means if I typed in 174 right here, only that one particular user would be able to see that button. I'll go ahead and delete it. And the next thing that we have is the require tag IDs. This is probably one of the more popular features, second probably to the membership levels. And what we have here is, for example, if I type in red up here and uh, blue down here, this means that the user needs to have both of these tags. They need to have uh, the tag up here, red, and you'll see it says and require tag IDs. That means I need to have blue. Now, if I put in green up here, for example, and let's just uh, say I have silver right here. Um, this means I need to have one tag from each box. So it would be green or red in addition to blue or silver. They don't need all four. They don't need three tags. They only need two tags to be able to access this module. They would either need one of the tags uh, from the top uh, in addition to one of the tags from the bottom. And then the last option that we have for protecting uh, your content is the PHP Boolean expressions. Let me head over to some documentation here. This is over on the Membarium.com site. And you can see that we have the conditional functions here, and it says they return a true or false. That's a Boolean result. So Boolean just means a true or false result. And so, for example, we could, for example, copy one of these functions right here, and we could paste that in. Now, the thing about this is that it's kind of redundant. This is just going to uh, tell you if the user is logged in or not. We already have those protections already built in. So really, the people who are going to get the most use out of this is PHP uh, developers, people that have uh, experience with actual PHP coding. And this will allow them to do some advanced things. So if you're one of those people, this option is available to you. And if you're not, uh, feel free to just stick to these options that we have up here. This is what's going to be uh, satisfying most all of our customers' needs. 
So once you protect it with what you want, you just go ahead and hit that green check mark to save the changes. Now I do want to mention before we wrap things up that you can also protect rows. So if you come to rows, the advanced tab, we have them in barium protection box. And you can also protect the entire section. So you just do the same thing, advanced membrane protection box is right there for you. So for example, I have this section down here and I can protect that separately from protecting this top section, which is right up here. So again, this just allows you to essentially build a page that just shows different things to each user. There's a lot of interesting ways you can use this. Uh, one is, for example, this button right here. This could be an upgrade button that you really only want uh, people who don't have the gold tag to be able to see. Come over to Membarium. Let me delete these tags out of here for us. And you can do require tag IDs, you can do gold, but then you'll see does not have gold. So you'll have a does not have on all of your tags. So in this case, that means that the upgrade to gold button, let's assume that that's set upgrade to gold. Well, we wouldn't want gold members to see upgrade to gold. They already have gold. So by protecting it this way, it would only show to users who don't have the gold membership already. And that's all you need to do to use the integration. Now, hopefully you can use this integration to make building your membership site easier. If you're not already signed up with Membarium, head over to our pricing page for details on getting a license. If you already have an account, then this integration is already available for you to use. And if you need help, check out our online documentation. We provide tons of details there, and if you still need assistance, our support team is here seven days a week, ready to help. Just email us, support at Membarium.com.